hate myself. I should have never watched this video. I hate, oh God. Oh, that's so bad. Oh, there was no need to unpause that. Why did I unpause it? Which made it so much worse. Here, why Finland schools outperform most other uh, most others across the developed world. Okay, let's take a look. This is 5.5 million views. I've written about this before. I've done a video on this before on the Young Turks, but it doesn't matter. Let's watch this. As far as I know, the video that I actually did on Finland and Finland's like incredible education system, literally, literally, Convinced one person to move to Finland, as far as I know. They sent me a gift in the P.O. box with a note that talked about it. Okay. Zero stress tag. Thank you for the five. Get this up. It's 8 a.m. on a cold morning in the suburbs of Helsinki. And these primary school children are getting ready for class. This morning's lesson, ancient history. Well, they are reading with pairs some texts about Egyptian ancient life. They are reading, and then I'm going to ask something. What, what did they find out from the book? I think we all are ready now. This is a school system. Why is it that every time we talk about fucking social democracy, people just immediately are like, yeah, it's the racism. Okay. I guess that's what it is. It's the, it's the racism that helped. It certainly cannot be better social spending. Like it can't. It cannot be, um, you know, higher uh, rates of taxes. It's got to be some other thing. That for years has been among the world's best. And then what about this gold one? Yeah, Mintu, please. And yet these kids will spend half as much time in a classroom as Australian children. When you go to the... The Finnish educational system is dramatically, is in crisis right now. Performance has dropped dramatically. It is now at the level of the UK. Mm, I wonder why. Perhaps it has something to do with the glaring problem with social democracies that I've t explained time and fucking time again. At the top of the hour, there's a three-minute ad break. Okay. You can live in a social democracy. You can live in a shithole like the United States of America, but the three-minute ad break is there no matter what, okay? Here's the three-minute ad break now. Here in the United States, we love... Damn, this got two million views from six years ago. Look, let me explain something to you. The reason why the Finnish education system is uh, under stress, and I don't know anything about it right now, I'm going to make a complete speculative statement without knowing a single fucking thing it's capitalism okay just like the same exact problems persisted in sweden when you are when you are a social democracy you are still you are still engaging in capitalism when you're engaging in capitalism there are still going to be capital interests people who are seeking profit they will try to privatize education so they can make money off of the now newly privatized field. This shit happened in Sweden as well. We didn't have to abolish it because it immediately destroyed their test results. Okay, America isn't ideal, but it's far from a shithole. Yeah, okay. Literally every big city is not only a fucking shithole in this country, but it's also impossible to live in if you don't make hundreds of thousands of dollars a year. It's the best for me. It's the worst for the average fucking working class person. Okay? That's it. If you're poor, it's a shithole. It sucks. And there's a lot more people that are poor than there are rich uh, ones. Okay? Now listen. I just don't agree with that. I hate statistics, so of course Finland can do this with the smaller population. Wait, what? But Asan, you don't understand. Look at the population of Finland compared to the USA. Of course, excluding GDP slash population adjusted per capita because I just don't agree with that. I hate statistics. So of course Finland can do this. Yeah, economies never scale, Hassan. I refuse to recognize that economies scale. 
Also, China doesn't exist in my mind, okay? A country that's larger and more vast than the United States of America does not exist, which is why I will not be doing a per capita argument where I see that, like, Finland is actually destroying us in that front. I will also not be thinking that economies could possibly scale or point to literally uh, maybe the entirety of Europe as a, as, a, as a whole or even China as a nation. Like, we will not do that. By the way, that guy is making a joke instantly owned holy no that guy is literally joking about the fucking idiots that uh very the, the, the fucking idiots that use that argument all the time that shadow was being sarcastic anyway Talk about being number one okay we'll we'll continue with this first grade when you are seven years old the amount of hours is 20 hours a week it's the minimum and then it gets um more hours the older you get but it's still less than in many countries, in Europe or in the world. In Finland, it's individual teachers who decide how the curriculum is taught, including how much technology should feature in their classrooms. We do a project of pyramid project, where we write our hieroglyphs on our names on paper, and then we do a classroom. Eleven-year-old Mintu Latomaki asks to leave class to work at the school's own student-run cafe. You can go. Yeah. That's OK. What the fuck? They're doing child labour. Hello. Hello. One cake for the cameraman, one cake for me, and two coffees. How much is it? Two euros and 60 cents. How much change? Uh, two euros and 40 cents. Ketos. Perfect. Is there a, a tip jar? Do you have tips? No. No, no tips. OK. In Finland, school lunches, like books and excursions, are free. The kids select what they want, sit down with their friends and teachers to eat, before they clean up after themselves. Wait a minute! How? Do you mean to tell me that that child was doing this as a fundraiser and and not because she has to, because she had to pay for lunch? What the fuck? I'm angry! This gotta be fake, brother. The children rug up again to play outside. Some play a raucous version of soccer. Some play basketball, while others wait for the hockey rink to open. There are plenty of options for bad weather days too. The facilities in this school are just amazing. Outside, we saw an ice skating rink, and in here, where the kids can play at lunchtime, there's a ping pong table, a pool table, and in here, for the cold winter days, They've got a room full of bean bags and couches, and there's even a PlayStation in the corner. It seems like it's such a rich school, you must get more money than other schools. No, we don't. It saves money for everyone, actually. They take and borrow books. In Finland, schools are not allowed to raise private funds or to charge fees from parents. All schools are equitably funded. What? Why are you saying this is nowhere near the average school when the video literally is saying this is the average school? Dude, I feel like to, to an American is so fucking... What? Oh, you are Finnish. Are you? I don't know. There's no way. Are you... Are you uh, this is not an average school in Finland. I can't tell if these are like uh, uh, American chatters who are just like obsessed and are are... Saying that it's impossible. The chatter is kind of right. This is a newer, larger school. The chatter is kind of right. This is a newer, larger school. There are a lot of disparities on how the individual schools are. Okay. I mean, it's still infinitely better than, demonstrably, infinitely better than fucking, uh, you know, American education. But I'm Estonian. I live in Finland. Yes. Okay. To be fair, they might have gone slightly nicer to school. Even the older ones are probably way better than here in NA. Yes, of course they are. But remember, Chatter, when you say stuff like this, you got dummies going. You see, it's all fake. You're letting 
with your fucking dumbass Estonian Finland world understanding, you're literally allowing the absolute baboons here in America think, oh, this is fake news. It's actually fucking fake news. They they gotta be actually in dog shit conditions. This is why I always fucking tell European chatters to shut the fuck up when I'm making an argument. Okay? Because they literally get mad like they do in fucking France when the pension plans go up by fucking two years and they all blow shit up. That is like literally not even a thing that Americans could fucking comprehend in their minds. Like we we don't retire by fucking 64. That's like, that's too, that's too old. I mean, that's too young, sorry. So European spoiled ass bitches will come in here sometimes and be like, yeah, this is actually not the best. Uh, this is actually not the average school. Some of the schools, uh, you know, the school I went to sometimes had a water fountain that broke. And then you go, uh, like, in your mind, that actually, uh, that does resemble uh, economic inequality. And, of course, there's always going to be inequality in every country, right? But Americans hear that and go, oh, that must mean that, like, the entire video is fake. There's no fucking way. It's like, if I talk about Red Vienna, right? If I talk about the, the, the public housing initiatives that were, uh, you know, that were implemented in Vienna and people go, well, there's still actually issues with homelessness. I'm like, dude, shut the fuck up. You don't understand. Like, you literally don't understand. To the Americans, like, that's enough for them to engage in, like, nuclear doses of copium to be like, yeah, 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 Europe actually has the same issues that we have. Does that make sense? They're looking to latch on to anything to, like, continue the American exceptionalism uh, narrative. And by the way, this is still a public school. You know what I mean? ...from taxation. And in our system, everything is free for the students, actually. We don't collect any money from, from the parents. We want our schools to be equal and have the equal opportunities to arrange the education. So therefore, also the finance system need to be equal and treat equally all the schools. Yes, it does tulee kuustaista. Mintu Latomaki's older brother, Levi, is in year seven. And this afternoon, he's got maths. We have uh, like the last um, chapter before we have the next exam. There are regular exams in Finland, but the results of these tests are not published and shared. We have national tests, but um, the big difference is we don't compare schools that this is not good school, this, this is bad school. And we just use the information that we evaluate ourselves. But perhaps the single biggest difference in Finnish education is the standard of teaching. Oh, no. Levi's maths teacher, Una Arnes, speaks five languages What but has postgraduate qualifications. So every one of us, we have to have a master's degree to, to be teachers. So like, for example, me, I'm math and, and chemis uh, chemistry and physics teacher. In Finland, a career as a teacher is highly sought after. To enter the studies in university, actually, it's really hard. They take something like 10% to study teaching. If you really want to be a teacher, it can't be your second or third or I don't know what kind of option. It has to be your first. I believe that they know what is the best for our children. I'm not a teacher. I don't have that education. So we don't interfere their work. In Wait a minute. Are you telling me that you don't tell the teacher what kind of books to read? Wait a minute. What? In Finland, there's little anxiety about finding the right school for your child. We trust that they have very good school, so we don't need to do any research work I or... I think that is not a question no, in no. Finland. Finland is a vastly different country with a tiny, homogenous society. But its education success must surely offer some lessons for Australia. I would like to say that try to build the system that you trust the people. And its investment in teachers seems an obvious place to begin. The society respects the teachers. It means also the parents respect the teachers and they don't question the teachers. And that's in Finland a really huge thing. Hi, I'm Lee Sales. Thank
I had to hit that homogeny right there. Here in the United States, we love to brag about being number one. Except when it comes to education, that is, where we regularly rank around 37th in the world. Frankly, many of us are lucky we can spell USA well enough to chant it at sporting events. But you know what country does consistently rate among the best in the world in education? Finland, apparently. That's right, the small Nordic country best known for giving the world Nokia phones, Angry Birds, and awful heavy metal music is actually a leader in world education. Not only does Finland have the highest high school graduation rate in Europe, but on international tests, Finnish students regularly rank near the top in reading, math, and science. And the Finns do this without overloading kids with endless hours of homework or turning school into a mindless drudgery. Bueller. Bueller. I just want to let people know that this video Cause someone to move to Finland. What have you done? Bueller. As far as we know, at so least why one. why does Finland have the most ass-kicking educational system on earth? Here are the five reasons that set Finland apart. Reason number one, no child gets left behind. I think this was one of the Literally. first videos I ever did. Finland provides all families, particularly low-income families, with a vast social safety net. The Finnish government sends a baby box of supplies to every family with a newborn child. And then from there on, childcare is heavily subsidized, allowing most families to send their children to some form of early childhood education. Finland's public schools also concentrate on making sure that every student achieves basic proficiency in the subjects that they study. Whereas here in the US, students and school districts are expected to compete against one another for limited resources, inevitably creating a system of winners and losers. This difference in approach is one of the reasons why the achievement gap that exists between the rich and poor in American schools is smaller in Finland than anywhere else in the world. Reason number two. They're just like, more chill, man. Finnish children don't even start school until they turn seven. And once they're in school, they get almost triple the amount of recess time as American students. They're rarely assigned homework until high school, and they almost never take standardized tests. In fact, Finnish students are only required to take one standardized test, and that's not until the end of high school. Reason number three. Teachers are actually, get this, respected. Becoming a teacher isn't easy in Finland. There are only eight universities that offer the master's programs required to earn a teaching credential, and only one in ten applicants get accepted. So it's no surprise that teachers in Finland receive roughly the same level of respect as doctors and lawyers. Plus, thanks to powerful unions, Finnish teachers only spend four hours a day in the classroom and take two hours a week for professional development. Dude, communism. Literally communism. The only SAT style test is now something BC does in Canada. That's the only similarity. They also don't have to deal with merit. This is libbed up as fuck. No. This is not libbed up as fuck, respected, and then immediately talk about the importance of unions to, to fucking uh, engage in bargaining power and allowing. Guys, first of all, one, this is a six-year-old video. Two, still talking about fucking unions and it's important six motherfucking years ago. Okay. Like, what the fuck do you mean? More than six years ago. No, it says six years ago, but it's literally... It's not even six years ago. It's seven years ago. This is a seven-year-old video. This cringe isn't the editing style. The cringe isn't the editing style. Is the conservative outlet still cut videos like this in 2023? Yeah. Literally shapes and colors. They're responding to the style of the video. Yeah. Okay which has been the cause behind many high-profile cases here in the U.S. of teachers and administrators cheating on standardized tests. Reason number four, they believe that less is more. And I'm rhyming now. Finns believe that when it comes to education, patience, hands-on learning, and focusing on problem solving are more important than listening to lectures, mindless test preparation, and memorization of information that students will promptly forget as soon as they leave the exam room. I know, it's... Uh, really crazy concept, right? And then Finnish teachers don't race through lessons to cram as much information as possible into students' heads so that the students can then spit that information back out on a standardized test. Instead, they give priority to moving slowly and taking as much time as necessary to thoroughly investigate fewer topics, but in much greater depth. Reason number four- It's actually kind of crazy that like this is seven years ago and I pretty much look the same. That's wild. That's before, that's pre-brain romp.
Five, they have fewer social ills. Finland may not be the socialist paradise every Bernie Sanders voter dreams about, but it's pretty close. Almost everyone in Finland is middle class, so income inequality is not nearly the problem there that it is in the U.S. Almost all Finnish kids come to school well-fed, rested, and ready to learn. There are no metal detectors, no cops patrolling the school hallways, and certainly none of this. Finland also has far fewer immigrant students, which is kind of like Donald Trump's dream, I guess. Only one in 40 students in Finnish schools has immigrant parents. Compare that number to the U.S. public schools, where that figure is one in five. That means there are not nearly as many kids in Finland schools who are trying to learn math, science, and history in a completely new language, all while also trying to learn that new language itself. So should we in the U.S. just admit that the Finns no education better? That part is not, uh... You hit the homogenous line. I mean, it's one factor. Learning a, learning a new language absolutely factors into educational outcomes. It doesn't mean it can't be done. Better than we do and go ahead and abandon our system and adopt theirs? Of course not. That's ridiculous. For one thing, where would we find enough teachers who speak Finnish? I hate myself. I should have never watched this video. I hate, oh God. Oh, that's so bad. Oh, oh, I hate that. I hate that. Zing. But what we should. There was no need to unpause that. Why did I unpause it? Which made it so much worse. Seven years ago, suck my dick. Half of you were not alive seven years ago. The other half were fucking Nazis. Shut the fuck up. Seven years ago, you literally... Oh, God, I don't want to even... Oh, stop. 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 Should admit is that when it comes to education, we just don't have all the answers, and if we do, we probably cheated to get them. There's plenty we can learn from countries like Finland that do things very differently, but have a proven track record of achieving better results. We just have to be more open to what educational innovators are doing around the globe. If we could only stop shouting, we're number one long enough to listen for a change. So, for the record, back then, just like when I first started on Twitch, I would absolutely temper my, my uh, narrative 100%. Like, obviously, it was cringe as fuck. It's like BuzzFeed style. But, but the reality is, like, I 100 million percent, 100, 100 million percent would, would advocate for things that were, like, way more even keeled um, out of, uh, you know, out of the fear that if I said some more radical shit that people would get mad. At least you didn't use that record scratch effect. Uh, I have used that in a lot of my videos at the Young Turks, like, like hundreds of times. It's okay, man. We all went through a corny phase in our mid thirties, like you were in this video. You know what? You're a piece of shit. Okay, you're a piece of shit. Fuck you. That's seven years ago. I'm, I'm literally fucking. I am gonna be thirty two this year. Okay, fuck you. Crazy to think that there are fans now that don't even know you worked at TYT, but I, I would say the majority of my fans right now have no clue.